Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another bright and early grocery haul. I scheduled another Walmart pickup at 7 a.m. I like getting it over with early. Get it done, get it out of the way before it's even time to start schoolwork. That's the only thing I don't love about Aldi. They don't open until nine o'clock. So if I wanna do an early Aldi grocery haul, it's not really early because then by the time you get back home and all, it's almost lunchtime. But with Walmart pickup at seven, you know, by eight o'clock, everything's put away and it's great, especially on school days, it's great. So here we go, this is a pretty fun haul this week. There are lots of kid requests, which is another reason why I did Walmart instead of Aldi this week. They were wanting things that Aldi didn't have and I found some new stuff. I'm gonna show y'all the thing I'm most excited about. Arby sauce, Arby's horsey sauce, what? They've had Arby's fries for forever, and that this may have been like a long time thing. I don't know, but I've never seen it before. So I got them. Titus loves their horsey sauce. So we got both sauces, got the fries, and I got some roast beef. We're gonna have an Arby's. We might actually do this tonight. I don't know, I'm still trying to decide. But I got two different kinds of roast beef because I didn't know, you know, how this would be. This is just the Hillshire Farm roast beef. And then I also got this one. Now this looks really close to the Arby's roast beef, so we'll see. This is like Walmart's deli fresh uh, meats right here. And I already have some buns here. So yeah, it's gonna be an Arby's at home now. I'm excited. I love Arby's sauce with their curly fries. Great. All right, so that's what I was excited about. Now we'll move on to the rest of the stuff. We'll start over here with the produce. I still have a lot of produce stuff from Aldi last week, so I didn't eat a lot. I got some onions, one red onion, tomatoes, cucumbers. Now these are the perfect size cucumbers right here. They're not huge, they're wonderful. However, these strawberries, <laughs> I'm just gonna open these up to show these to y'all. I've never, I don't think ever, seen strawberries that big. Look at it, it's as big as a lemon. They're huge. I just, I don't know if they're gonna be any good since they're so big, but you know, look at this one. It's even bigger. It's almost as big as this green bell pepper. What's with this gigantic fruit these days? The lemons are normal size. Happy about that. Aldi has those gigantic lemons, you know. I'm happy about these normal size lemons because the big ones, there's just, there's so much of the thick, you know, outer layer and just a very little bit of lemon actually in those big ones. So I'm happy Walmart had normal sized ones. I got another Sunkissed Melon. This, I ordered cantaloupe and they substituted it for this again. Now, a few of y'all asked if this was a honeydew. Honeydews are smooth on the outside, you know, like, and they're pretty much almost white, you know, on the outside and really, really smooth. This one feels like a cantaloupe. It's just a little lighter and it actually, it tastes just like a cantaloupe, but a little sweeter than cantaloupe. So not exactly a honeydew, not exactly a cantaloupe. It's like a mixture. So yeah, I got some peppers there, celery. And then over here, I got some croissants and I ordered, uh, they had these new chalupa things that I ordered, but they didn't have them. So they substituted and just gave me this uh, Chi Chi's flour tortilla, the fajita style tortillas. I went ahead and took that because we go through a lot of tortillas anyway, but I really wanted to try the chalupa thing they had. Maybe they'll have it next time. Then we just have some great value flour tortillas. A four pound bag of pinto beans. Oh, I forgot about the spinach and stuff back here. I ordered the smaller, like half this size. They didn't have those so in both of these, so they substituted for the big ones. It's just uh, some spring mix and baby spinach. Two gallons of milk, some buttermilk, heavy whipping cream. I got this creamer to try. I can't remember if I've tried this flavor before in the Great Value. It's the vanilla caramel. I think one of y'all mentioned it to me the other day. I've been drinking hazelnut a lot, but I'm starting to get a little tired of hazelnut. I mean, I still like it, but <laughs> just want something different. So I'm gonna try this vanilla caramel. I got some more stuff for the refreshers. This is the vanilla coconut milk that a lot of people ask, which coconut milk are we using? So it's the So Delicious. Now, if you go in the store, this is not in the cooler section. It's uh, shelf stable, so it's actually on, I think it's on the aisle with the juices. I haven't gotten it in store in a while, but it is on the shelf. It's not in the cooler section. I think a lot of people are looking for it there, but yeah, it's the So Delicious Vanilla Coconut Milk. And then I got, they didn't have the peach juice still, the peach kind of make the peach refreshers, but we just got the white cranberry and strawberry. Jonah got from Aldi last week a mango tangerine, I think. And he made some refresher, he made one with that. So all you do is mix the juice with the vanilla coconut milk and it tastes so close to like the Dunkin' refreshers and the pink drinking stuff at Starbucks. So yeah, he used that mango tangerine and he said it was really good with the coconut milk. So that's another, you can use pretty much any juice flavor to make them. Uh, let's see, we got some chicken broth, tortilla chips back there. 
and then I got some honey barbecue corn chips. These were a kid request. Jonah and Sissy loved these. We got them um, several months back. I can't even remember how long ago it's been. And then Walmart didn't have them in stock for a long time. And then we've been going to Aldi for a long time. <laughs> so I got them. It's the Zesty Cheddar Ranch Cheese It Grooves. They love these. They are really good. We tried the other flavor and they didn't like those too much. But these uh, Cheddar Ranch, they really love those. We got some pita crackers vanilla wafers back there and I got the big bag y'all I've told y'all before cinnamon toast crunch it's okay the name brand it's fine but this malto meal cinnamon toasters they are way better Walmart only has this gigantic bag so that's what I got because that's all they have I have cereal containers this fills up almost two of those really big cereal containers got some frosted flakes and fruity pebbles both kid requests for those these were kid requests, and I told y'all before, I love these. They are so great. It's the Sunbelt Bakery Chewy Oats and Honey Bars. They're great. <laughs> okay, we got some Dots pretzels. Okay, I tried to order just the original flavor to give those a try. They didn't have them, so they gave me the Southwest Seasoned, and I think this was the flavor some of y'all were telling me about was really good. Most of y'all tell me that the cinnamon ones are your favorite. I can't find those anywhere. None of our stores have the cinnamon ones. Walmart. Ingles nowhere. I'm gonna keep looking though. Maybe when we go to like some different towns I'll check out and see if they have any of the cinnamon ones. I could probably order them from Walmart and they could be shipped here Maybe I'll check and see but anyway, we got the Southwest season. We already talked about those wonderful things We got some cheese dip black beans uh, pizza sauce Restaurant style salsa bubble fruit. They only had the pear berry pomegranate this time And this is one of my favorite ones, but the peach is my absolute favorite That's actually what I ordered. They didn't have it. So they substituted and gave me this one I got two of the Noosa vanilla bean yogurts the kids requested some of these again I got them the last time we went to Walmart and they loved them. It's the cotton candy and wild berry Yo play yogurts, pepperoni, cream cheese, some mesquite smoked turkey for sandwiches, and bologna. Okay, cheese. These big one pound blocks of cheese at Walmart are a better deal than the cheese at Aldi. Still, I think maybe sometimes still at Ingles, cheese might be a little cheaper if it's on sale, but when it's not on sale, these big one pound blocks are the best price from Walmart. They're only three, I think they were 368. Uh, cookie dough. Of course, Jacob requested his pecan turtle delight cookie dough. And then I got this. I don't know if we've ever tried the great value ready to bake cookie dough before. Maybe we have, I can't remember, but I got that. We got some Totino pizzas, two pepperoni, one hamburger, one triple cheese, sausage. Uh, I've never seen these ham and cheese like hot pocket things in the great value brand. So I got those for the kids to try. Two of the pepperoni ones. They asked for some strawberry toaster strudels, so we got those. And Tyler requested these. Well, he asked if I had some the other morning, and I didn't have any in the freezer. I need to do another big freezer cooking day and make some pancakes and waffles to put in there. But yeah, I was going to get the great value kind, because they actually like the great value ones better than the Eggo waffles, but they didn't have any in stock. So I got these until I can get to a freezer cooking day. <laughs> it's still early, y'all. I can't talk. Okay. We got some ground beef, bacon. Titus always wants this right brand bacon now, y'all. It is cheaper at Walmart than Ingles, though, I will say, but this says it's one and a half pounds. I don't know. This looks like a smaller pack than the ones at Ingles. I'm not sure. I'll have to check on that because if Ingles has more in their pack, it's a better deal at Ingles. We'll see. We got some sirloin steaks there, and I got some spicy chicken strips. We got some southern hash browns, and they have new bubbly flavors for the summer, y'all. The only ones I saw that our Walmart had was this one, which is the orange cream. It's like an orange creamsicle, and they had lemon sherbet, I think. Lemon something, but I think there are like four or so different flavors, but those were the only two new ones that our Walmart had, so I got the orange creamsicle ones to try. <laughs> Last things, more outshine bars. We got the grape. I ordered coconut, but they didn't have the coconut this time. They substituted for tangerine, and I don't think we tried the tangerine, so I got that, and they had the lime. I'm excited to try this one. Some of y'all said this is your favorite. I'm sad about the coconut, though, because that is definitely one of our favorites. Hopefully, they'll have them in next time. These are really good, y'all. I'm telling you. It's not just a normal grape popsicle. It's like, it's almost a creamy thickness and it tastes like real grapes, like real grape juice. It's wonderful. You want a pancake with holes like this one? Yeah. Did you have a good sleep last night? Yeah. I had this a bad dream. <gasps> oh no, what was it? It was about the dinosaur. Oh, what happened? It was 
eating the trees. I was eating a Spinosaurus. Oh my. Oh, it's a baby Spinosaurus. Oh, that's even worse. Hmm. What are you gonna do? Eat a pancake with holes? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I got it. That's my chair. Can I uh, get it? Yeah. See the hole. Yeah. Sissy already got ready for school. I'm gonna make the coffee in the French press this morning. I lost count again, that's about right. <laughs> kind of feel like I've tried this before, but then again, I don't, I don't know. I wish they would have just like a regular caramel creamer. Like, I know they have caramel macchiato. I don't really like that creamer. I don't know why, but I just don't love it. <laughs> Which I haven't tried it in a while, it's been a long time. Maybe I need to give it another try if I don't like this one, but yeah. Why don't they just have plain, just caramel? I can't really even taste it really good. It's good, but there's not a very strong flavor there. I mean, I didn't put a whole lot, but if I put that much of the hazelnut, it's like, you know, really good and flavorful oh, hazelnut. This, um, it's not a lot of flavor. I don't know, maybe I need to put more, I don't know. <laughs> it's good though. Yeah, I could be having troubles with my tasting though because of the pollen, I've been sneezing a lot, so that could also be a problem. But from what I can taste of it, it's good. <laughs> All right, Manny, are we ready for this? Yeah. It's Monday, yeah. the beginning of a brand new week. 